Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited about this video because I am going back home to JMU. For those of you who know me know that I was a collegiate basketball player at JMU, but for those of you who don't, I was a collegiate basketball player at JMU. <laughs> and before I start the video, I wanna give a shout out to my former teammate and one of my best friends in the entire world, Tamara Young. This is her shirt. As a basketball player, I think it's pretty much given. I am a very girly basketball player, but I definitely have my tomboy side, so I love this shirt. Thanks, T. If you guys are interested or like this shirt at all, please visit Thai One Gear where you can purchase it in all sizes. So, I went back to JMU because the gym that I played in at JMU, the Convocation Center, is being replaced. I have and share so many memories with my teammates in that gym. So I wanted to make sure I got back. The program has done well prior to me going to JMU and they have continued the tradition since we left and were able to raise more and more and more money to build this new stadium. So I'm super excited to get back there to actually be able to see the new arena. I wasn't able to see it last time. But I blogged my visit back to JMU. I asked my friend to put it, get, put it together for me, so I'm seeing it for the first time as one whole clip. Going back to JMU, I laughed, I cried, I had this sense of like pride being back. And also, with what I'm going through right now, it was nice to get that reminder of love that I've received from thousands of people over the years as an athlete. So without further ado, let's get into the video and see what he put together. And make sure you don't forget to click. Some of this footage is a little blurry because some of it's mine, some of it's not. Um, but what's happening right now is we are being introduced at a JMU game, all the players that decided to come back. Can you guys um, point me out? <laughs> I'm so extra. <laughs> oh, my girls. It's like in real life, I feel tall. But around those girls, I feel like just extremely short. Wow, this is such a nice photo. This spans the course of like 30 years. Those are my coach's daughters and Tamara and Lauren and all the girls that I actually played with. This was during their shoot around, like the current players shoot arounds. This is Tamara playing against one of their best rookies. That's my home girl. I love her to death. Yay! <laughs> yes! 
That took like 10 takes because she kept missing. Not me. Oh, that's cool. Added in some still photos. The official last game. They brought us out on the court again. But this was senior night and the very last game at Congo. Sheila Mormon's like a legendary coach from Jamie. Wow, we all played in that gym. Look how many people. That was cool. They threw all the streamers to celebrate the last game of Congo. photos. I kind of wish there was music. Okay, so this is when I went home. This was actually my hotel room. I had a little pause there where you could see like the dialysis boxes. Hold on, let me go back a little bit. Those are my dialysis boxes. <laughs> like Anywhere I travel, I have to take them with me. It's just mandatory. Had a little liquor left over. James Madison, that white man is every. Okay, I'm, I'm literally not gonna say that. But he's everywhere, like all around JMU, James Madison University, so as he as he would be. That's one thing I loved about JMU was like it was a cloudy day, but the campus the stadium. stunning, beautiful. This is the APC where we and it's been studying. built up so much since I've been there. Not a parking lot when I was here. Yeah, that wasn't a parking lot. Ground. But they've built so many buildings now that they have to add in stuff. That's the new stadium over there to the right. When I was at JMU, there was nothing over there. This is where I, those are my dorms. That's where we had to run the mile. This is the health sciences building. Um, I took a lot of classes over there. And that's the new arena. It's crazy, state of the art. Wow. That's like triple the size of Combo, which is where we played. That's the Convocation Center. This is the gym empty. They had a couple of players doing some workouts, but. Those are some of our banners right there. Wow, it's a lot of history there. Those are my banners. <laughs> 2009, 2010, 9, 10, 10, 11. That's the no, head coach's coach office. Head coach's office. Me and Ja. That's my girl. So That's my best friend to this day. Guess who? 
She's a bobblehead. She's a bobblehead. She's a bobblehead. She's a bobblehead. She go boing, ba ba boing, ba boing, ba boing. They made me a bobblehead. Imagine the jokes I got. <laughs> That's a picture of me in the WNBA playing for the LA Sparks. This is our senior class media guide. <laughs> we were babies. I can't believe how much time has passed. That seems like a whole back to back. world ago. WNBA Duke. So these are all the Dukes who have ever made it to the WNBA. Hey. Crazy man. Wow. It's like I don't know what to say. <laughs> Such a mix of emotions, you know? I am so proud of that aspect of my life. I'm so proud of it. Um, but I moved on to another portion and aspect of my life and I wanna work as hard, but also be equally and more successful in my current career choice. But I'm so, so thankful for the, those moments. They're so important. And I thank everybody in that organization that have a huge part in who I am today. Like tremendous, it's ridiculous. Something about sports that make shifts and mold you into a different type of person. So I'm so grateful for it. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to comment and like this video and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you next Monday. See you later.